Welcome to Access Relationship Settings. I'm Trainer Lori. What are relationships and access? Well, it's database theory that enables tables to be connected via a key field, known as the primary key in access, that shares information and a link between the two tables. It is required if you have more than one table. One-to-many relationship is the most common kind of relationship in Access, and so we want to create a one-to-many relationship. In this case, one customer has many orders, and you can tell by looking at the one and the many. Relationships are created under the database tools in Relationships. The time you're going to see it the most, though, is when you're looking at a form. And in this case, you can see that each customer has many uh, orders. So each customer has many orders in both Relationships and the form. Click on the Database Tools Relationships and make sure your tables and uh, queries that are related to those tables are closed. Then we take our primary key and click and drag it to the foreign key. In other words, we take the primary key from one table and drag it to the same information in the related table. Please note that while in this table they both have the same name, they don't have to have the same name, but they must have the same data to create the relationship. Notice the Edit Relationships window opens automatically once you click and drag the primary key. Now we've created a parent table and a child table. One parent can have many children, and in this case there's one customer that can have many pets. Then make sure that you enforce referential integrity by clicking that option. This creates a data cop essentially that helps prevent orphans, and as you know, a child without a parent is an orphan. So in this case, if we accidentally tried to delete customers, we could create an orphan record. But when we enforce referential integrity, that can't happen. For example, if you try to delete a parent record, in this case, I use my keyboard shortcut, Control minus That's my favorite way of deleting a record because it deletes all the fields. But it says you can't. It says the record cannot be deleted or changed because pets includes related records. In other words, it's a parent, and you can't delete a parent if there's a child. Now what you can do is delete the child. If you have never set referential integrity, you probably will need to go do it now. <laughs> so uh, to open up a relationship that's already been created, double click or right click, if you right click you get edit relationships, on the vertical line between relationships, not the horizontal lines, or on the gray area. If you click on any of those areas, you'll get the edit relationships without all the data in here, and you'll have to choose from the list. We have some other options in there we're going to look at. The first is Cascade Update Related Fields. If you try to change the apparent primary key, now we're in a, a table called Customers, and I'm trying to change the primary key. We've decided that ALFKI isn't appropriate for Alfred's Footer Kiss. We want to change it. It's not going to allow you to do that. However, if you change and click the Cascade Update, it will allow you to change the primary key. However, remember, nothing allows you to change the auto number. That you cannot change. But because this was a made up uh, set of letters for the primary key, it will now allow me to change that. It will also change related foreign keys. So because one customer has many orders, it will go into my orders table and change the customer. If you try to delete a parent record, it'll say you can't. You can't change or delete that parent record. We saw that before because of our enforce referential integrity. We, however, if you would like to, you can choose the Cascade Delete Related Records, the third option there. Uh, and those, by the way, Cascade uh, Update and Cascade Delete only come available if you've got the enforcer on. Now when I hit Control minus, it'll warn me because I'm in a form, it'll warn more me that relationships that cause cascading deletes are about to cause one record in this table along with related records in related tables to be deleted. In other words, it's saying if you're deleting a parent here, you're also going to delete the child records in a different table. So remember, in a form you'll get a warning, in a table you'll get no warning. It'll simply delete them. So you probably wouldn't want to leave that on all the time unless you are absolutely certain of how you uh, delete data and what it's going to do for you. Now that we've looked at our three enforcement options, let's look at join types. When you click that, it affects queries. This is where it's going to affect it. And some people only turn this on in queries. You'll have three types of joins, an inner join, an outer join, and a reverse join. And that's what they're called, but on the 
the uh, dialog box, it only it tells you, explains what they do. It, but if you're going to look it up somewhere, this is what they're called. That means that only employees, in this case my query says employees and their orders. So I've, I'm pulling from two different tables, a parent and a child table. But when I ask for employees with orders, it's only going to show me employees who have orders. And that makes sense, except I want to know who's the slacker, who doesn't have any orders yet. So then I might choose the outer join. When I choose this, in relationships, it becomes the default for all my queries. Keep that in mind. And it will also change the look of the relationship. You can see that there's now an arrow between my one to many. And it's pointing, and this is the way I read it, show all employees whether or not there's orders. So in that case, Trend Alert doesn't have any. Instead of doing it for a default for every query, you might want to just do it in the query. Remember, there is a relationships panel in the query, and so you can change it there as well. When you do, it looks just a little bit different. It's verifying that uh, the table and the columns are, th are correct. So what is a reverse join? That is when it's just the opposite of the outer join. It says show all orders whether or not there's an employee. In other words, it's going to find uh, your orphan records. That's all for now. If you like it, please click like. And if you have any requests for training topics, please write to me at trainerlaurie at live.com. Thank you. We'll see you next time.